Hey everybody! Sometimes in Excel you're working with data like a date column and a time column, but you really just want those two together sometimes. So what you can do when you've got a, a column formatted as date and a column formatted as time is to create a third column, and I'm going to call mine date time. And then uh, with dates and times it's a little bit different than your usual uh, combinations, where typically you would just say something like equals A2 and B2 here. But notice that gives us a weird format, right? That's our date time uh, combined figure. It's doing some math for us. And you would think, oh, we could just go up and change the format to whatever you know date and time format we want. So maybe I'd find a, a, com a combined value like this, which is okay, but it doesn't work because it's just looking at a mathematical number there. So what we're going to have to do here is create a formula that converts these values to text first or you can copy and paste these um, just as plain text instead of as date or time values. Um, but the easier of the two, I think, is to just convert with the formula. And to do that, we type in equals text, and then in parentheses, we're gonna choose our date value, use a comma, and then we specify the value we want that returned as. So in my case, it's gonna be a single month, single day, and four digit year, okay? So there, I've just converted my date value to text. And then I'm just going to do ampersand, add a space in quotations, ampersand. And then one more time, I'm going to do text, open parentheses, choose my B2 for my time, and also specify its format. So comma, uh, quotations, and then I'm going to say hour, minute, second. We'll close my parentheses, and now I've got my combined date time column. And if you don't want that to be a formula, let's say you're going to copy and paste it somewhere else for usage, and it's your, uh, your columns aren't going to be named the same or something, you can always just select the column, and then when you go to paste, choose to paste the values only. And then that makes it so that each of your values is truly just the date and time, no formula, and it's easily copied and pasted in and outside of Excel.